Hello, in this video I'm going to show how to connect a Windows 2022 Server Core only installation with Hyper-V Roll to a network with switch enabled teaming and VLAN tags. I found a few examples of this on, out there on YouTube and stuff, but no one explained how do you connect the server initially to the network so you can get to it because in as you'll see in our in my uh, example here this server has no connectivity to the network at all it only has two trunk ports to the core therefore it must have a management interface created and a VLAN tag assigned before I can assign an IP address and access the server so that's what I'm going to show today this is the configuration that I'll be using we have the Windows 2022 server physical server it has Windows 2222 data center core loaded on it with a Hyper-V feature. It has two 20 gigabit uh, network cards that are configured as trunks to the core. The core does not have any ether channel, port, port groups, or LACP turned on. These are just standard trunks to the core. It is passing VLAN tags for all my server subnets to the physical server. This is a list of commands that we're going to be using today. Um, first, of course, your first prerequisite is that you must have Windows 2022 Data Center Core installed and the Hyper-V role enabled. And then you need to have all the network drivers and all the hardware drivers for your hardware installed and <clears throat> the network cards um, set up as trunks to your core with VLAN tagging passing. The two network cards must be exactly the same and use the exact same driver. That is a prerequisite for Microsoft for set teaming. First, we're going to get adapters so we can get the name of the NICs, the physical NICs in the server. And then the next, next command will be new VM switch, which we will use the names of the adapter. It doesn't let you use the index for some reason, which will be a lot less typing, to create the VM switch. And then we're, on the VM switch that we've created, we're going to create a uh, interface named Management. You can name it anything you want. I chose Management. Next, we're going, to use, we're going to set the VLAN ID for the Management interface that we've created. Then we're going to get the index number for the Management interface. And then we're going to use that to set the IP address on the Management interface. And then we will lastly set the DNS server addresses for the management interface. Once that is finished your server will be on the network you'll be able to access it, join it to the domain, install updates and continue with whatever you want to do with your Hyper-V node that you have created. Okay after you've uh, logged into the server with administrator <clears throat> you're going to be in the sconfig screen you want to go ahead and exit to PowerShell using 15. And then you're going to want to um, we'll glance at the commands again. We're going to use get net adapter to get the names of our network cards. Learn the names of the two network cards, the two trunk cards to core. Next step will be to create the virtual switch. That would be step two using new VM switch. I've pre-typed most of these commands in so you don't have to watch me um, do it. Type uh, all of this in. So this is the command new VM switch name vSwitch1 the two net adapter names and allow management OS true and then I'm using the what if I'm going to show you um, I actually have a syntax error in this command and this is the beauty of the what if is it's going to show me that I have a syntax error and my syntax error is I needed to put a comma between the two network card names and now I'll go down here and run what if again and it'll show you what it's going to do. Alright, and that's what we want it to do. And then I'll take the what if off. 
and the command is running and it has created our virtual switch. Now that we have the virtual switch created, we're going to need to create an interface on the virtual switch for the management OS, which is Windows, to use. We're going to use the add VM network adapter command for that. <laughs> All right, so here it is. Add VM Network Adapter dash Management OS, so that allows Windows to get to it. The name of the interface, which I've called Management in GMT. These names can be anything you want. You can you can you know, like up here where I, I named V Switch One. You can name it whatever you want. Here it can be whatever you want. I chose Management in GMT. The switch name is the switch name that we used up here. And then again, the what if command, so you, you know, we we can see if we have syntax errors before we execute it. All right, it says it will add, it'll do exactly what we want, so we'll go ahead and take the what if off, and bam, we now have a um, management interface for our switch. Next, we are gonna set the VLAN ID for the management interface we just created to 800 using the set VM network adapter VLAN command. We'll find that command. All right, this is the command. Let me clear the screen. There are too many commands going here. So we're looking for the set VLAN. Set VM network adapter VLAN dash the network adapter name which is management the VLAN ID which is 800 in my case access with the management OS flag and then what if again alright tells it it's going to do exactly what we want to do so we'll take what if off bam we've now set the VLAN for our management interface okay now that we have uh, created the interface and set the VLAN it's time for us to set the IP address for the management interface. But first, we need to get the index number for the IP uh, for the management interface that we created. I'm going to use get net IP interface for that and use that in the new net IP address command that we're going to use to set the IP address. So, first, we're going to get net IP interface. We can see from here that our new interface management is interface index 16. So then let me find the command to set the uh, scroll through all of my commands here. Here's the command that will set the IP address on that interface. So new net IP address is the command name interface index 16. IP address is there. That is my IP address prefix length is the length of your subnet mask and then default gateway also using the what if command it's going to tell us what it's going to do it looks all good it doesn't seem to have any syntax errors so I'll take what if off bam it has set the IP address for our interface now we're going to need to set the DNS servers Again, we need the index ID, which is still 16, and then we're going to use the set DNS server, set DNS client server address command to set our DNS servers. We can verify again. Our management is still index 16. Here's the command set DNS client server address interface index 16 server addresses with a comma between them and then the what if it's telling us that it will change the DNS client settings on the management interface that's exactly what we want so we'll take the what if off bam we've set our DNS servers
So now that we've set the DNS server addresses, our configuration is pretty much complete. We should be able to ping something on the internet like Yahoo. That's a test. And as you can see, we're able to resolve the name and ping the address. So this, this server is fully functional and able to talk uh, on the network. So this uh, completes creating a switch embedded teaming configuration with trunk ports and setting a VLAN tag on an interface for management. You can now go back to sconfig and con uh, continue joining the server through the domain, building out Hyper-V cluster, or whatever it is you wanted to do. That was the purpose of this video, was just to show you how to use trunk ports to connect the server to your network using switch embedded teaming, which is the new teaming technology for Microsoft. I hope you found this useful. Thank you so much for watching.